talk about um, our thoughts around success because I think that a lot of times when we thought successful we thought title money right but what ways can you offer some tips on reframing success for our audience mm-hmm mm-hmm the thing that came, comes to mind right away for me, and I, I tell you, you know, I'm tell you, I, I'm, I feel yeah. like I'm living my best life, is be, being yeah, let's happy. Let's talk a little bit more about the happy factor, it's, it's, though. It's, I want to be happy, and, happy and, mm-hmm. and joyful, because when I can do that, when I can be happy, joyful, grateful for things, and that's part of it. Part of being happy is going back and looking at the things that you are blessed blessed with that you haven't even given thought to. And, and it's funny because I heard a pastor, no longer alive, who said years ago, and I quote this often, if you can't be grateful for what you have, be thankful for what yes, you avoided. Absolutely. Because it could have been a lot absolutely, different. Absolutely, <laughs> So I say start there. What makes you happy? What, what brings you joy? And you can't be joyful if you're around a whole bunch of negative people who are always talking about who did them wrong. So right away, I'm saying when I'm talking about who you know and who you need to know, it, it may be time to purge some people. And guess what? Some of those people that you're purging mm. may be family. And guess what? What right. are you willing right. to sacrifice? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 You just have to. You just have to. But you need to be selfish with your self-care. Yeah. 